Hi, welcome back to Save It For Parts. If you're like me, you're tired of random drones buzzing around your house all the time. You never know if it's corporations spying on you, the government, space aliens, or just your crazy neighbors. Now, a lot of people have come up with ways to shoot down, catch, or otherwise disable drones. So I figured it's time I give it a shot too. And by give it a shot, I mean of course I'm going to make yet another attachment for my multi-barreled potato cannon. I'm going to make something that should fire a net using my existing propane potato cannon's combustion chamber with the screw and barrel mount adapter. These parts ought to be a good start. For a net, I've got this old tangled up hammock that I used to hang out in the garden. But since I just cut down one of the two trees in the yard, I no longer have a way to use this hammock. So I might as well use it for firing at drones. So my basic idea here is to assemble just a very short extension to my potato gun barrel. This screws into the chamber. And then I'm going to try to drill and tap some holes in this and put four of these little adapters into the end cap at just a slight angle. And then I'm going to have four barrels coming out. And then those barrels will shoot out four weights slightly offset so that they spread apart and the idea is that those weights will hold my net and hopefully entangle a drone now i've never done this before i've seen a few people do it online i've seen some other videos where people do it i'm not entirely clear what the optimal angle is for those four barrels so that my net spreads out and doesn't just come back together and tangle itself before it gets to the drone and I'm not quite sure what the optimum range is for something like this. So with most of my projects, when in doubt, I use a lot of trial and error. So we're just going to build something, see if it works. If it doesn't work, then we'll build something else. So you always get a little bit of that purple primer or activator and when you put your brush back in the thing it starts to cook off this cement and eventually your cement just kind of turns into jelly. So if you don't want that to happen you have to clean off your little brush with acetone in between each use so that you're not putting that purple primer activator stuff back into the cement. Well, I've marked where I want my little barrel adapters to go so I'm going to drill these out and then I'm going to use a metal pipe with the same threads and diameter as those adapter fittings. I'm going to heat up this metal pipe and kind of twist it in there to sort of thread out those spots. And then I can thread in these barrel adapters. We're going to let that PVC cement set up and then we're going to come back and give this some tests and just make sure that it actually fires things out of the four barrels without just blasting itself apart. Well, this ridiculous thing certainly shoots bouncy balls pretty well. So let's get some kind of weighted projectiles together and see how well it shoots a net. Boy, this is a mess. There's part of my french fry gun in there. I'm making these high-tech little projectiles here with everything duct taped together. Very fancy. I've whipped up another high quality replica here for my testing purposes. 
As you can see, I use only the finest craftsmanship and materials for all of these projects. If I like how this goes, I might make a little nicer canister that's not just duct taped in place, but let's do some tests first and see what happens. on the roof now. I'm actually pretty surprised at how well this is working so far. I thought my angled barrels were going to be too angled and that the net was just going to tangle around itself, but it seems to fly pretty straight. Um, once the weights pop out and get out to the maximum uh, length of their string, they just keep going straight. And the thing that slows it down appears to be the air resistance from the net versus the weight of the projectiles or the strings tangling. I've tried a couple different weights in the projectiles. Seems like it still goes about the same distance. And again, I think that's just aerodynamic drag from the net. But it seems like it's working pretty well. So the next steps are going to be replacing my duct tape and yogurt uh, net container and then breaking out an actual drone to see if I can catch it with this. Alright, we've got a net canister with slightly less duct tape now. So it's about 14% class here. I've got my first net stuck in this tree, so time to build another net. Alright, net number two is constructed and loaded. We finally caught it. It only took a million tries, but we got the little drone. So it turns out that shooting down a drone is actually way harder than it sounds. And the little dro drone even still flies. Um, it is missing that piece, but that was already loose. And I think honestly that fell off earlier in the testing process. Is this an effective way to shoot down drones? No, not really. Eventually we were able to shoot down this little testing drone. And we had a lot of trouble even getting it to fly straight and stay level. Uh, this one is not GPS enabled, so it just kind of goes wherever it feels like. So it's actually pretty hard to fly that. And I guess in one way that makes it more of a challenge to try to hit it with a net. But in another way, it makes it more of a challenge to try to hit it with a net, which for the purposes of this video was really frustrating. I guess the moral of the story is, if you're going to fly a drone over my house, you're probably pretty safe. I really can't hit anything with my net launcher here. I don't actually condone shooting down anyone else's drone. All of this was filmed with my own drone in my own yard. Please check your local laws and regulations before attempting. Alright, once again, thanks for watching. And go ahead and like and subscribe and tune in next time to see what else we get up to. Also, I have a Patreon account now, so if you would like to help fund my broken drones and video projects, 
Uh, you can go to patreon.com slash save it for parts and throw me a couple dollars. It's always appreciated. We'll see you next time.